In this presentation, I'll talk about the sizing and operation of solar and storage systems. A solar system is typically in installed on the rooftop of a building, such as shown over here, and the storage system is typically sitting over here, for example, in the garage of a house. From our perspective, the system model looks something like this. We have the PV panel over here, which produces so solar energy, and that can be stored in a battery and later discharged for use, for example, at night. In addition, we can buy energy from the grid or sell back excess solar energy to the grid. The interesting part is that the solar input is time varying with no generation at night over here, for example, and the load also is varying. So we need to match the solar input to the, to the load, and we need to do this for the future when both the input and the output are not well known. In addition, the system is quite expensive. It can cost tens of thousands of dollars and the future is of course unknown. So we need to decide what kind of technology to buy, what kind of PV panel, what kind of battery, how much to buy and how to operate it. By operation, I mean figuring out when to charge the battery, whether to charge it from the PV or buy from the grid, how much to charge, when to discharge and how much to discharge it. So in prior work, we used a data-driven approach where we've used optimization to find the most economical system that achieves a performance target, which is practical using only historical traces. And it's also robust so that it is insensitive to small variations in the input and output. And in current work, I have a master's student who is looking at a deep neural network-based operation. In this approach, we take a model predictive control which is the best known classical control algorithm, which observes the data of the operation of the grid in the past and uses this to generate synthetic data and creates optimal outputs. These outputs are used to train a neural network, which is then used to essentially control the system. So this allows us to not have to solve a complex model predictive control problem, but instead use a neural network based controller which is much less resource intensive. In the PhD project, the goal would be to extend the operation of the DNN in complex scenarios, such as when all the homes are participating in a peer-to-peer -peer local grid or are participating in a multiplayer game. An even more challenging problem that could be tackled would be to try to solve the joint problem of what to buy, how much to buy, and how to operate it, which is a coupled problem because these are linked by the problem of cost, which decides what to buy and then decides uh, and also how much we can buy. The battery parameters, which couple these two together and the performance target, which couples the sizing and the operation.